Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody messaged me. I and if you're watching this, I don't do that too often. I just put my email there's somebody saying thank you for that. Uh, that you could email me stuff like that. So this is a bitmap. It's real low quality, but it's really pretty good and clean. So I'm not even gonna do anything to it except for trace it. Your trace will be under effect or under bitmap, outline trace, clip art, which I use the most. And bam, it's almost done. Take the new cat. Now, when I'm moving it, see those lines? You need to get rid of those lines. So where I'm gonna left click an outline and I'm gonna go to object and group and ungroup and immediately I'm gonna get rid of those lines because that was part of the box. Now, this cat would engrave right now. But what I would do is left click, no fill. And then there's several things we could do. I would, I would do one more step, but then you could fill this with black and nudge it down and get all the parts. And then this would definitely engrave because it's just black with no lines. Let's go a little bit further. And let's zoom in here. That's a good, clean uh, cat. Let's do one thing I always do is make a yellow box, go to uh, object and order and back a page and make sure there's no white anywhere. So that guy would engrave. Now, if you're wanting to do like this and have this engraving, not the cat, then what you could do, you could take the cat, let's get rid of our yellow box. As a matter of fact, let's move that out of the way. Well, there's two of them. And let's nudge it down a little bit. And I'm going to left click, right click in red and make it a hairline. And then if that's what you wanted, you can make that size box Surely is not that, it's 28 by 14, let's say. So we're gonna make it 28. I'm gonna unlock my ratio, 28. I think it was 14 and I didn't watch everything. Then I'm gonna round the corners off a little bit. Um, kind of like that is. And then what you could do if you wanted, this would be called a reverse engraving you can fill that in. And then you would need to go through and fill in the other parts and that will engrave. If you're engraving this on wood, the cat will be wood colored. It'll be the grains of the wood and all this will be deleted. It'll be burned away. Now this is gonna take, especially this thing being, uh, surely it's not 28 inches, that'd be mighty big engraving and a lot of engraving. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.